So Miriam, when new colleagues, you were elected in 2019 as the MP for Penistone and Stocksbridge and it is fantastic to be working with you on the Early Years Healthy Development Review, something we're both passionate about. Can you tell us a bit about the announcement we're making today on family hubs? Well, having a baby, starting a family is challenging for everybody. Everybody has questions and concerns about themselves and their babies. So I think it's so important that people have somewhere to go uh, that's welcoming, that they can find the advice and answers to the questions they need. And I think that also needs to be a place that can offer signposting to more intensive help for families that need it, maybe for relationship support or substance abuse, things like that. But I think overwhelmingly the families we spoke to said that there needs to be a place, a welcoming place that they can go to for support. Having a welcoming place for families to go is exactly what families want. But they also told us that they didn't want to lose some of the remote and virtual benefits of lockdown. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Well, yeah, it has been a really tough year for families, but it has given us the opportunity to move some services online and try that out. Uh, and I think it's clear from the feedback that some of those services, so perhaps maybe things that are a bit more private, like support with breastfeeding, actually work very well remotely. If you can text your midwife or health visitor, that's very convenient. So although you can never replace the face-to-face, -face, I think it's important that we, as we go forward, we develop both the virtual and the physical services alongside each other. So Miriam, one of the other ideas that was raised in our review was that of registering births in family hubs. Um, can you tell us a bit about the feedback from that and what you think of it? I think it's a brilliant idea because it means that if families do find they need support, they're going to somewhere that's already familiar and has already welcomed them in that first stage. So in the next stage of the review, the implementation period, it's great that we're going to be asking local authorities to consider whether this is a possibility.